or is it just uh, it's all paid? It's yeah. All, wow. Yeah. yeah. No, we there are no free brackets in Tulsa that I'm aware of. Uh, well, oh, yeah, I guess we should commentate the set. Uh, <laughs> well, so, I mean, nothing is going on right yeah, now. So, so Genji versus Yardo. So they've played, I know, at least once. I want to say they've played twice. Uh, Yardo's won both times. Um, Yardo really likes to Ken combo Nana. He's very good at it for some reason. Oh, he's going Fox, though. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this, this is a tough matchup. Uh, I'm not sure how well Yardo's going to know it. Because uh, Genji's kind of the only Ice in Oklahoma right now. Rest in peace, Irish. Yeah. And like back in Arf was here, I don't think Yarda really played that much Fox. So. Uh, wasn't it primarily just like straight Marth? Or... Uh, yeah, I don't really know because I wasn't that, honestly that active in the scene at the time. That high school was so good, by the way. Yeah. Uh, he uh, And Yardo honestly has like really good DI on those edge guard situations because there's so many times I feel like I can just ledge hog him and he gets back anyway. I hate that. Like it's it's so annoying. <laughs> but like he's he's really good at it. Oh wow, is that get up attack for the kill? That's not quite gonna do it. Okay, I didn't know if he's gonna try to have Nana set something up for him. Yeah. So uh fun fact, uh Genji actually beat Disney in this matchup uh last Tuesday. Really? Um yeah, it was on stream, I watched it. It was it was solid. Uh so yeah, like he he has some experience in the matchup, but Yardo's Fox plays a lot differently. Uh, Yardo's Fox is a lot more patient. Um, doesn't doesn't rush in quite as much. Um, it's a little more calculated. Right. Yeah. Whereas Disney's kind of a just sort of feel it out in neutral kind of. It kind of sounds like a mango player a little bit. Like uh, yeah, no, like back when I was still in Tulsa, we kind of. Like called me the Armada of Tulsa and him the Mango of Tulsa because we like have this rivalry and we both kind of have that those styles I think. Um, Appropriate comparison you know, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We're probably not quite as good, but you know, I, almost. You know, I just Armada talks about you. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, to the match. Oh, so. Um, oh, so my Anna gets the grab there, unfortunately. Um, as far as I'm aware, that's pretty much totally RNG. Whether she does, there are two throws where you can get a handoff there. Uh, the other two don't. You don't get as much. Oh, doesn't quite get it. Yeah, um, Genji was, uh, or Genji was actually looking really, really tight. Oh, my, ooh, um, uh, that should be it. Yep, yep, yeah. All right. Yeah, he was looking really, really tight with his grabs last time. In fact, just doing, like, fun stuff, like, frosting him in the middle. Like, who was, who was he playing against? Uh, he was playing against, uh, let me pull that up one more time. He was playing against Nuts and Sink. Okay, who did, who did Nuts and Sink play? Uh, Nuts and Sink played, uh, Foco. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, Jinji, uh, oh, goes a little low. Uh, Jinji definitely, like, he likes the space these matchups to an extent. Like, I know he's gotten a little frustrated uh, with Disney, playing against Disney in particular. Um, until this last Tuesday when he beat him. But, uh, oh, now that's gonna be it. Yep. Oh, my God. Doesn't, doesn't quite get it. Yeah, that's, like, pretty rough because there's, a. Uh, you have to wait a pretty good while before. Oh, that's gonna be it. Oh wow! And Nana grabs ledge. Wow. Okay. That's insane. Nana All right. Well, so let's see if that gives him superpowers. Oh, misses the dash. I mean, probably could have been a model. Uh, Yarno is kind of spot dodging a lot um, when he's expecting Genji to grab. I kind of like Genji to start calling that out. Uh, just do like sort of a wave dash in place kind of thing. Lingering hit boxes too. Just right. Sit. Oh, oh no. no. He ledge, he ledge hugs Nana, as well as Yardo. <laughs> it's unfortunate because like you want to secure the kill, but then you kill Nana. <laughs> All right. So this this is gonna be tough. It's not impossible. Um, it's like uh oh wow. Oh yeah. A little late on the F smash. He got a little. He's got way too thirsty. Yeah. Like, Sopo, Sopo can do some stuff to Fox. It's just neutral's awful. <laughs> uh, mostly. Oh, okay. Yara kind of stays in the shield there. But, like, he, he does have some sort of... Oh, didn't want that full hop, I don't think. Were you saying something? Sorry. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say that, um, like, Jinji's, uh, like, Sopo, I haven't actually seen it in action, but I know before he used to tell me that that was his number one weakness, that I, I just don't know what to do when I, you know, just by myself. Right. And, I mean, like... To some extent, you can call that a weakness. To another extent, it's just, I mean, that's just a character weakness. Like, it's its something that, yeah, when you're Sopo, your opponent's going to get some mileage off of it. Um, 
However, you can kind of turn it in your favor sometimes because the opponent is going to be thinking, oh, this is Sopo, I'm fighting a low tier. Uh, so they are going to want to go in more. Um, they're going to be a lot more aggressive, so you can kind of punish that a little bit. Um, Bait the aggression, of course. Right, yeah. right. Because it's like nobody expects you to put in work with Sopo, so if you start getting combos, it can be pretty tilting. Ooh, yeah, especially when... If you're the other person that like sleeps on Sopo so much, you're like, why am I getting right. free stocked by Sopo? <laughs> okay, so I assume Yardo banned FD. That's a pretty popular counterpick. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's that's why this matchup's rough. Uh, yeah, Fox like is very good at geometry. Yeah, it's just one one shine, and Fox along with Peach, they're both like among the best in the game at separating the climbers and the best at killing mana. Which it's like, there aren't that many characters where you see both of those. A lot of them are good at like one or the other. See, um, I imagine that uh, Sheik actually wouldn't have been as bad as I thought it was before I learned that that was a bad matchup for Sheik. Because I thought you know, yeah. Jazz Smash would separate. But, um, well, not the thing is that uh, Down Smash isn't that safe on Shield. You can get like Wave Dash grabbed out of it. Um, like, the thing about that matchup, I don't I don't know that it's that bad. We don't really know a lot about it, because it doesn't happen that much. But, uh, it's like... Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely good uh, corner pressure there. Yeah, she just... Uh, she can't, like, abuse the grabs as much against Ice Climbers. That's, like, one of the biggest things. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, there she goes again. Yeah, and Nana always double jumps the exact same height, unless there's, like, a platform, in which case you can still read it. It's just a different height. Uh, and so, like, it's super easy to just call that out and just throw out a shine or whatever you want. Is it, uh, like, a straight-up full hop, or is it, uh... Well, uh, her double jump off stage. Oh, her double jump. Yes. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Yeah, and she doesn't up B or anything, so if you, if you clip her out of her double jump, she's just dead. That's so depressing. And she won't like air dodge on the stage, obviously, so you can just ledge hog her. <laughs> it's it's pretty upsetting, but that's the character. Yeah. So uh, reads the roll there, gets that up smash. Um, so far, I mean, it's looking pretty good uh, for a Yardo right now. Yes. Um, but I mean, ice climb. Oh, right. yeah. Like that's that's the uh, Jinji's first wobble of the set. So hopefully that uh, could give him some more momentum. Uh, see what he can do with that. He just. He just really has to make the most of his next stock. Uh, Yardo's going to try to kill Mana while he's invincible. Okay, right. so he got through the invincibility, so now he just needs a grab before Yardo gets a shine, basically. <laughs> That's sort of, the, sort of the matchup. So run around, trying to pull his fish for what, what they want. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, Yardo, from what I've seen, is pretty good at mashing out of grabs. Uh, at that percent, a wobble really shouldn't ever happen uh, if you're mashing correctly. Right, right. Um, I believe if long arms were here, you could tell me the exact percents. But, uh, like, it's somewhere around, like, 40-something, like, 47, I want to say, where you, uh, technically the wobble's guaranteed off of a sink grab. But for a human being to mash out of it, like, uh... You would have or, well. You would have to have some precognitive thought. You'd like right, free mash. Exactly. It. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Those percents might be way off. <laughs> no worries, no worries. But okay, so it, or match stock for uh, what is it, Jinji? Yeah. So yeah, uh, Gara's doing a good job of just kind of focusing mana. Fox is really good at like since he's so mobile. Um, Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a 0% wobble. Yeah, well, that should really never happen. We're, we're, we hold hold that, hold that. Yeah. Finish it out. Yeah, we definitely take this. So, uh... I'm thinking about 150, smack some. Probably around there, yeah. If I played Ices, I would always go over 200%. Because <laughs> if I lost a set because I was, like, 1% short, I would never forget myself. Uh, <laughs> So it's not illegal to actually go over 300% as long as it's just naturally in the match, right? Like, if I you work out wobble for some reason, it didn't die at, like, 250. Right, so it's only it's only against the rules if, like, um, if it's actually stalling. Now, every character will die to a wobble at pretty much any percent, like 250 is why they have that percent. However, this stage is one exception to that. If you have, like, the rock transformation up, you could theoretically go over 300 to wait out, wait for that to go away, because they could GI into the rock and, like, uh, uh, tech it. Right, right, right. All right, wow, okay. So Jinji uh, taking the first stock here, in theory. Um, 
Um, I didn't really see how I got that grab. I'm not sure what happened. I, I had to look away for like two yeah. seconds. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, uh, starting off strong, taking that stock. Um, it, it, Nana, you gotta calm down sometimes, you know. Yeah. Like, it was cool, but you gotta chill. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's Nana. And that's you know, taunt to get body out. So. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it. Oh wow, these are bears, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, and it's it's tough because Icy's don't really have a downward hitbox that can challenge that. Uh, their best, all they really have is uh, they can mix up where they come down. You can air dodge. Uh, you can side B. That's a little risky, but it is an option. Uh, like I, I would think Dare maybe if you timed it right. But... No, well the thing about Dare is it does set knockback, so no matter what percent they're at. Um, like, they can punish you for it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and like, it's pretty weak. Um, yeah, so like, see here, if Yardo was already over 300%, he could keep going just because that kill's not guaranteed. Oh, okay. So it's not really stalling, you're just like, doing what's off the wall. <laughs> gotcha, I, like, uh, that, thank you for teaching me that, like, I never yeah. knew, so. Yeah, I mean, like, that should be the way it's enforced in you know. Uh, Some TOs may not really think, oh, <laughs> tries to go for the read on Mana's movement. Rolls a little too far. Yeah, that's going to be the stock. I've seen some of your more fervent posts on Melee Hell about people being uh, shitters. <laughs> yes, I am I am known as a, as a, uh, oh, there's another wobble. Yeah, uh, Jinji just waited for him to roll in. And, uh, wow, so that's going to be a full stock lead. That's really good for Jinji. Um, but yes, I am known for being a fan of upsetting people on Melee Hell. It's really fun because it's so easy to do. <laughs> Literally have any opinion that's not, well, Fox is the best character. Exactly, like just have any sort of controversial opinion and people hate you. <laughs> yeah, that forward throw is, is pretty good against Nana because she just DIs in, you just run up and grab her again. It's basically a chain grab. <laughs> Nasty. But uh, yeah, if that's all you're doing. Wow! Really good angle to get around that. That's gonna nope, not quite. Yeah, uh, Jinji's DI. Is no, he's good. he's had some good DI on those uh, upwards kill moves. So if Jinji can get any extra credit, that's gonna be nice. If he can get him above like the guaranteed wobble percent, then he's in good shape. But uh, like I want to see like 50 percent and then call it good. Like you just right. decide and I'd be like, wow. okay, yeah, 35 percent's looking pretty good for Jinji. So we'll see. Wow, well, gets a grab. Ooh, reads the roll, a little late on the down smash. I think he had the read, but he wanted to confirm it before he committed to an option, um, but ended up doing the option a little late because of it. Okay, so, Jinju's got a good percent lead, but it's still very doable for Fox if he can kill Nana. Yeah, uh, it just depends how quick he can just get in, but right. it, it's getting spooky when you're at 78. Exactly. It's like, it, it becomes a lot harder to mash out of a grab at this percent. Oh. I think he buffered that throw as well. Oh. Uh, and that's it. Wow. So, uh, assuming he doesn't drop this, this will be the first set Jinji's taken off the yard of it. That's actually a really big win. Congratulations. Uh, this is uh, non-PR player beating number three on the PR. That's, wow. That's actually pretty big. So, good stuff to Jinji. Congratulations. Yeah. It's in the back. All right. Um, so, uh, 